two questions. Sure. What does a freeholder do? And how much money could the state of New Jersey save if we didn't have it? All right, a freeholder is an What do they actually do? A freeholder is a county government that has certain areas, all right? I worked seven years in county government in Gloucester County. They do such things as superintendent of schools for the entire county. They do health. There's five functions of health. There's administration, there's uh, communicable diseases, there's maternal and child health, chronic illnesses, and uh, there's environmental health. So they go out and inspect all the restaurants <coughs> and see that everything's, I mean, things that the town can't do. Well, the town might inspect it, to get it up and get it running, but the county doesn't. Also, like environmental health, they'll uh, rabies, you know, they'll come out, cut the dog's head off, you know, and uh, send it up to the state lab, you know, that kind of thing. You know, or they'll run uh, immunization clinics, maternal child health. They'll run the WIC program and things such as that. So that's the, that's the health department. Then they also have the road department, which is interesting is prior to 1928, everything was on the water. In other words, we need the, I think the bridge, Benjamin Franklin Bridge, we built 24 to 28. When they built that bridge, when they built that bridge, it put a lot of people out of work, but also it caused county government to shift from an emphasis of cleaning waterways, navigable waterways, to building roads, toll roads, and they don't open up county roads. Up. So that's another function of county government. However, <coughs> The loophole, and, you know, Sweeney was complaining about his taxes to the Atlantic City Press. Oh, Governor, or whatever, you know. Governor Christie, his tax program is, my taxes are going up. So I shot back an email to the press. Well, it's kind of simple. When he was freeholder director, he, he bonded out a half a billion dollars. In his town, he built out $140 million. So he did half a billion dollars and 140 in his own town. So what, you got a problem with your taxes? That's what I'm saying. They don't get it. It's like your spouse running up credit cards. You know you're going to have to pay for them. You're going to coax that person into not doing it, for God's sakes. Because we're going to have to, this guy, we're not speaking to him, but a free order, in a mode of bonding out, he's going to Florida. He's going to go to Miami. He's going to go to Maine. Wherever he's going to go, he's out of here. You're not. Your property can't be sold because there's a tax bill. And that's what we've got. They found a huge loophole called bonds. I know Deborah Sutton came up here and spoke about it. But bonding is offline debt. And they're doing it down in Washington. Now, 430 miles north of here is a province called Quebec. Canada's got, I think, nine provinces. Their indebtedness is 25% of their GNP. Ours is 100%. We're 14 trillion gross domestic product. Right. We're 14 yeah, it might be, but I think the gross domestic production of product is, is 14 trillion. And now they're sitting at 14 trillion in that 14.6. So we're mortgaged out, if you will. We're, you know, we're loaned out. I mean, it's, now, if you roll back certain things, you know, like congressmen's retirements, they're gone. That'd be the first thing I would say. Let's go there. Health care, you know, everybody needs health care, but, you know, they'll get health care. There's a, a wine bird, huh? I think we're going to invite them. Do you know? Do you don't agree with it? They say that insurance for doctors is the reason for the medical costs, and if you set up a corporate, yeah, it's to have them lecture you one day. It's quite interesting. In other words, they're presenting to the spent 28 hours of government prison. And basically what they're saying is this. It's the insurance costs in the medical profession that are disallowing them to provide free health care. There are physicians, they got together a group of physicians that are willing to provide, if given immunity by the state, which the state can do, pass legislation, 
they're willing to give free health care to everybody in this room. You walk into their clinic, they'll put out a certain amount of hours. You walk into their clinic, you get treated. Free. They'll have a private practice, but their practice is enough that they're not worried about not having any patients. Predicated on what? The insurance cost is supposedly who they're going to treat for free. It's predicated on Anybody that walks through their door. As long as you want to as long as well, the state holds them immune. Mm -hmm. Now the state picks up the tab, which is far, far less than the actual cost of the judgments against, in other words, the insurance premium is far in excess of what the claims are. That's what they are. Yes, ma'am. But to have them explain. What I'm getting at is, is someone who is fluent they can afford, they're not going to walk into a, a free credit. Right. It's best to have them explain it to me. It really is. It's not. Okay. All right. All right. You know, okay. All right. I got a 7-0 decision from the New Jersey Supreme Court. That means that not one justice disagreed with me. Mm -hmm. I lost at the town level. I lost at the trial level with the county. I lost at the appellate division. And magically, I won 7-0. Why? It's because your property is the cornerstone of democracy. Mm -hmm. What good is civil rights working all your life if when you take your money and put it in your real estate and you make all these uneconomic expenditures, i.e. you keep your house absolutely clean and perfect, because you're going to live there. So you have a high level of maintenance that you're willing to accept. <coughs> it's not based on economics and payout. And of what use is that? If I come in and give you 10 cents on the dollar, you've lost everything. They're messing with, one professor um, who taught me property law out in Michigan, he said, real estate is the 14-year-old version of the law. We have it exactly the way we want it, we leave it alone. And that's what you need to tell every one of your legislators. <laughs> Get out of the business my life. There's no public health, safety, or welfare. And don't concoct something that there is. <laughs> because there isn't. I mean, they were calling blighted. They were calling my property blighted. And I had eagles foraging, deer, turkey. I got a hundred. I mean, I had people in my own property. No. You know, I had, it, it was absurd. Absolutely absurd. And when they tested, you know, they came on it. They were going to, you know, while the case was going through the court, they had these rights to come on our property. And they looked for everything. Couldn't find anything. So that's how you keep your property on shore. And if we get everybody into redevelopment, here's one thing that's really catastrophic. If you fix your properties in redevelopment, if you fix your roof or put a new roof on or put an addition or put a garage on, if you do that, if it's post-time designated redevelopment, we are not going to pay you for that. So within 10 years, you'll have blight everywhere because you're in redevelopment. Nobody can fix anything without losing their wealth. And we've got 56 towns in New Jersey in redevelopment. That's 10% of the towns in New Jersey. It is a system of people working across this state. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to take it any further, but I can tell How you. How can we find that out? How can we find out which towns there are? Which towns it's yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's in the you did it all. If, if My wife used to represent General Electric Financial. She used to audit finances. She could find out where you're hiding it, whatever you're hiding. And then she had a mortgage business for 18 years. You know, so you get to understand the documents, et cetera. And she found, oh, remember Commerce Bank? That's as far as we're going to go back. Let me ask you another question. It's people are crooks. And I'm not saying speaking of Commerce Bank. There are irregularities in the financial world, what I call people above the glass ceiling. Don't tolerate it. You see 
that's easy for you to say because you have a legal background and you are able to do things that other people in this room simply cannot do. We don't have the background to do it. We don't have the everybody issue to do it. All right. Now, what, what I want to laziness is not an excuse for incapacity. Okay. What I want to ask you is, what is a logical starting point for the people in this room? I mean, a, a logical start. Take your elected officials. At your county, at your town, and at your authorities, at your state level. Put it on a wire diagram, get all the relatives, and start tracing companies. And start tracing companies. And I mean, if a parking ticket is fixed, or a dog bite is fixed, everybody scream their head off in unison so nobody gets picked on. It's called just monitoring the people in office. Because <laughs> what I found was people get promotions when you hand in all this evidence. The problem doesn't get solved. I'm back in court again. Why? They want an extra two acres of my property. They say it's for a road. They want an extra they can build the road, make sure it's high enough. Cool. US Coast Guard, I got Federal Waterway, uh, that's 2,275 feet of Federal Waterway, 20 feet deep at low tide. Mm -hmm. 110 feet wide, can bring barges in, et cetera. It's part of the dredge depot with the rail. Now, you want to build the road? Fine, build the road. What do you need the extra two acres for? We need it for water runoff. The formula at NJDOT, I didn't know all this. You found out. You know, just start Googling and asking questions. The formula, the engineering formula, is 20% of the impervious material. It's for water runoff. 20% of the impervious material. So if you have a parking lot on one acre, you need 20% of an acre for water runoff. <coughs> okay, you got a bridge, it's 110 feet long, 100 feet long, to the apex. So it's only going to be water on that side and one mile away. Once it gets to the top, it's only going to be this. All right, so you got that, 20 feet long, 110 feet long, 20 feet wide. That's 850 feet. You're taking 85,000 square feet. Why do you need that? Now, go anywhere in New Jersey. Hell, you probably tried anywhere in the United States. Look at any bridge and tell me if you see a water runoff pond mm -hmm. at the base of the bridge. How many they got in Camden? The Walt Whitman, Benjamin Franklin? They don't. <coughs> I mean, where does it go? It goes in. So I feel like, and I'm speaking as an individual, I feel like uh, I'm being lied. Okay? So where do you go from here? You go, and then you break up. You do Harry, you do Sammy, you do Wally. You wire diagram it, you find it. If there's, there's a bag being passed around, you've lost your count, literally with cash and payoffs. I know the 18-year-old guy that carried the bag for his daddy, who was high in the party. This is years and years and years and years ago. Long time ago. You think they gave up the bag? I don't. Now, do you think the bag is only characteristic of Worcester County? No. So where is your money being spent? Remember I said about transparency? Push to get transparency. It'll actually save you money in government. Because if an environmental inspector goes out to restaurant ABC and she takes out her black regular, takes a picture of whatever she's inspecting, then she sends it to her website and or her account. She gets in the office or she gets out in the car and she's working on a laptop. Screen comes up, it's a regular standardized report. You fill out all the vacancies, you write your narrative, it's filed in PDF. Her boss can see it back, and he can write comments, or she can write comments on the report. But you can't change the report. We can do the same thing for construction of schools, roads, bridges. Likewise, there's a cost attached to that. My God, all of those employees out sleeping in cars mm -hmm. are now going to be seen by you if you want, or you if you want. 
It's transparency. That's what we did not have to see. We solved the problem of the $11.6 billion. I just asked you to solve the problem for the $29.6 billion. It's called transparency. It's a ge geographical information system. You know how you like to go to Google, Earth, and then you see the icons with the pictures on it? <laughs> So now if you take the bridge project and all the reports and all the inspectors and all the contracts, I mean, you can, here's another great thing. We had a, in Al-Qadir, which is down south of uh, Baghdad proper, probably 25 miles, 30 miles. You come down there, we had trucks running over new water lines we put in, and they break them. We'd have to come out and fix it. Why did they break? We told you to put it down six feet or four feet. They're up 12 inches off the ground, you know, down. Well, here, if you take the Blackberry and take the picture of it, and then you post it geographically at that site, 20 years later, I'm back in America, the guy that's gonna maintain that road can say, I know what I'm gonna see when I dig it up. Because there's the record. Now that's valuable for maintenance alone. Which, why have all these lines and these records and these open requests? It's ridiculous. It's absurd. All we're doing is we're taking the internet and we're extending it out. Like Facebook extended it out into the social network. You know, you, you can talk to your friends. Everybody knows where you are. It's secure. Well, all we're doing is taking it out to the government. Why is it the government picking it up? They don't want us to know. They don't want you to know. And you've got every right to know. And it's cheap. And you can start right here. You get elected, you can start right here. Well, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, you have you November know, elections coming up. If you want to know about the incumbents, you get their elect report to see who contributed. You see what their relationship is to that contributor. What, what do you get? What report do you get? New Jersey elect. It's from the Election Law Enforcement Commission. You can, um, it is only for contributions $300 or more. Right. So, and it's just a way for you in your town to find out who, who is giving money to the incumbents and what their relationship is with these people. And then I would ask you to say, you gave three hundred dollars. What do you do for a living? Nope. And, and then I sit back and watch. Three hundred dollars to Harry. He builds roads, or he sells off mm -hmm. Son of a gun, he got the contract. You know. Oh. But it's legal. You got the contract over here. Well, you know it might be legal. I could tell the Justice Department. But guess what? The next time she runs for office, everybody's going to know how legal she was. Is that pay for flight? I'm flying? being. No, I don't. Is that, is that, is that, is that pay for flight? By example, not by. Well, pay for pay to play. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Pay for and it, is, it le is it done in other states or just this one? Oh, oh I've told people, oh. no, I've told people like dual office only. Follow this. Stephen Sweeney mm -hmm. was the freeholder director. <laughs> he was my state senator. Yeah, he was the president of the Senate. The governor left, the lieutenant governor left, and now he's the governor. Why don't you just make him the chief justice? That was December 2010. December 2010, he sold in four offices. Hello? Mm. Who are you going to call? Mm. It's our fault. It's our fault. Yeah. Yeah. I want to change the subject a little bit. And I, I basically very much like the job that Chris Christie's going to be. So do I. Uh, but I have to ask you this. Why do you think he is insisting on resurrecting Stupid Maybe it's because they got like three hundred million dollars in the bank. Have some with it. Mm. You gonna make it a big lot? I mean, seriously, yeah, I, I would. I, I would make it a parking lot. I think really? you generate far more revenue with it. But that's besides. And buy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other that's what the market system does. And the other question is: Is NCAP dead? Got sample, isn't it? Well. That's the matter. Right. No, no. Here's the problem. NCAP is, is uh, capping Lindhurst, the, uh, the uh, waste area. Is capping. Is it? Capping. What is capping? Capping 
police taking trash material, mixing with crushed glass, putting on rail cars, and hauling it up to end cap and covering it over, and not spending any money. That's what I could do for end cap. I'm not allowed. There's 470 brownsfields in Camden, Gloucester County. I was told by Old Marine you wouldn't have to haul the boat enough. All this stuff, as long as dirt comes down a river, ships come up the river, and that material's got to be extracted, and you found an economical, beneficial use for it, you know what one free order director retired said to me? We're not letting you make that kind of money. Wow. That's your government. Honestly, did you, did you hear it? We are not going to let you make that kind of money. And that's when I made a, a trip to the Secretary of State's office in Trenton and found out some of the companies and some of the names and some of the politicians, et cetera, owned. And you can compare those company names to the elect reports, and you'll find that they're not reporting everything. And I think at that point, you can contact Department of Community Affairs or the Attorney General's office. You can do something. And you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a big splash. Just a little bit of time, name, company name, compare it to a report they're filing. They're supposed to be open with, you know, the companies they own, the properties they own, and the income that they receive. Here's another thing you could do. You could take all those records when they get transparent. Take software and you can run software checks without search warrants and find all this out with software. That's part of the anti corruption problem over in Afghanistan. And I developed it. Okay? You want honest government? We can do it. And we can do it cheap. And our taxes will go down. And Christie has put a lot of wonderful people in strategic positions. Lori Griffa, head of the Commissioner of DCA, her previous employment, she was Chief of Staff at the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. You got a complaint? <coughs> Get her ear? She's certainly able to process the data, and she certainly has integrity. So, What's your name again? Lori Griffa. Griffa? Griffa. G-R-I-F-A. Griffa. Griffa. She's Department of Community Affairs Commissioner. And her previous employment was the Southern District of New York Chief of Staff of the U.S. Attorney's Office. And that's all public knowledge. And that's, I mean, nobody told me this. Just, I love those blackberries. They're nice. With spare time, you know, well, you're on your way home. I have friends in Arkansas that are turning Arkansas upside down. Good. Tea Party friends in Arkansas. They're just <laughs> turning the whole state upside down with these transparency expense reports. And what are they doing? You know, there's millions of dollars in expenses that they don't know where exactly and how that money exactly was used. It's like I work for a company. I have to hand in, well, I stayed at this hotel and this is what I ate. And, and, People aren't seeing exactly where the money is going. You're also going to see. Or whatever. <laughs> They're not showing receipts. So you can do all of this by, by your scanner or just your photograph, you know, your, your library. Mm -hmm. You're $79. What the hell? Like, you, you got all these documents you photograph on them. You put it on your report, attached to your report. We'll all know what you're doing. And, and you won't be embarrassed. You know, we're fire report. And when you're sitting there, you come back from Afghanistan, and you're sitting here in Trenton, or wherever, Rawway or somewhere, and you've got a knock at the door, and there's the MPs or CID or whatever. And you want to know about how you spent the money. And you go, well, here's the disc. And uh, of course, I got mine, and you know, I, I downloaded a disc of all how I spent the money. And uh, here's, a, here's a copy of it, and I hope you find a guy. And, when you find them all, I'm ready to testify and I get off my property. I mean, you'll be able to do that. The same thing if you're working in a, in a private company. You'll be able to say the same thing if anybody ever questions your integrity. You go, here's a copy of the disc. I hope you find it. I'll testify and not get off my property. 
In other words, you need your space. You're free. And your ancestors earned it. And you need to pass it on to your children. I mean, enough of this. This hobos and these clowns and these braggadocios. We can do it. And it's the first time we've ever been able to have this kind of transparency. Cheaper. I mean, they're doing wonderful things in Trent. But they ain't as smart as we'd like them to be. Let's help them out. And I was walking over to the Senate and I saw these photographs. And I said, those two guys did jail time. And their pictures are still on the wall. That was embarrassing. Uh, just a quick side note, uh, this is a few years ago, and I don't remember the specifics, but I met a couple at, at a retreat where they're from, I think they were from TNA, and they were telling um, my husband and myself how they had a corrupt politician and just a few concerned citizens, this is before Tea Party, <laughs> they got together, they all, they had meetings, they researched, and they were able to get this guy out. Uh, there was there was payback and there was all this sort of stuff that was you know that smell that was that was going on and I uh, you know that that's all I can say. This is before Tea Party time. <laughs> it's doable. Yeah. We got a lot of people in this room. It's a lot of work, but it is fun. Freedom is fun. Freedom is not free. Is watching free. somebody, watching somebody on a witness stand asking for mercy. When six months before they were the nightmare of the community. <clears throat> it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's not vengeful, it's fun. It's, fun. it's laughable. It's like, <laughs> you're just presenting. What were you thinking? Right. You took on the most powerful people in the world. We're free. Right. We're not giving up. I mean, I don't need a daddy. What I'm saying is, in government, right. I have a father already. I don't need. I don't need somebody down in Washington, or I don't need somebody at my county level saying we're not going to let you make that kind of money. I mean, I brought up the idea. I took the technology from one industry. I paid $10,000 a report, and I own the land. It's a 60-year investment with the family. Why can't I do this? And now you want to do it right next door, and you want to use my land to get water. And have the taxpayers pay for that. <laughs> now, I'm not whining. I'm saying they're doing it here. They're doing it everywhere. They're doing it 55 towns. <laughs> they call it business. <coughs> they're they're going to help you out. They're going to plan how you live. Incidentally, that, that insurrection down in uh, Peru, out of 16 current insurrections, modern day insurrections, that's the only one that ended peacefully. So societies organize itself in an orderly fashion the way human nature works. One good book that dates, that, that backgrounds the history or the, the framework, the framers of the Constitution and how they believed human nature was is contained in a book called The Law by Bastiat, B-A-S-T-I-A-T. <coughs> and it's really interesting. It talks about the origin of property. And the origin of property is where you went out and by your own human effort, created value. That's what's so offensive when you think about it. Not at your selling price, but at, at you know, at, mm -hmm. you're going to get it. You don't deserve it. It's people everything. So, <laughs> we're founded by natural law in this country. Declaration of independence. Well, we don't have any violence. We just need transparency. And this is a window of time where you can tell your legislature you're starting with your towns and get the software. That's all it involves is the software. You have server and software, a laptop. We were putting them out in the field. In other words, you could be in a home day and you could be filing in a combat zone at 150 degree weather and you could be writing a report, transmit it, and somebody back at uh, Tampa reads it. There is a, kind of there a program, it would have to be. What kind of software? Created. Cre a software created to do what? It's it, the technology. Software there. already exists. It just has to be modified. Modified. Right. Yeah, but it's, it's not ex it's not expensive. No. 
it's well, a geographical information system. Okay, and, so and look at what your government's already spending for Oprah. Look what your government's already spending for copy machines. <laughs> or the time to sit there and go back and write out your report and then file a report in a filing cabinet where there's more office space. Just call a form up, fill out the, the report, file it, it goes to a server, and the whole town is held on a server. Oh, you're saying oh, the software is for the town, it's not for us. True, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I imagine I could find it for civilians in business. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do it that way. I mean, that probably already exists. I'm just that. specifically focused mm -hmm. on what we did in Afghanistan mm -hmm. to make DOS and DOA and DOD's money transparent. You could do the same thing. I mean, that's government, so you do the same thing county or local government. Yeah. Wasn't there at one time a ton of money yeah. Same for Lieutenant Colonel in Trenton and Jeff. She's driving around in the Cadillac. She didn't deserve it. She stole it. What was this? There was, there was stealing. Yes, there was stealing. Of course there was. She didn't know that the military's got stealing.